Hello and welcome again. So now we are again uh, continuing our previous lecture of syphilis where we have discussed, uh, we are on page uh, 147, USMLE Step 1, 2021 Microbiology. I'm Dr. Ranjit Sa, an infectious disease expert as well as clinical research from Harvard Medical School. So now today we will be continuing our previous lecture of the syphilis where we have discussed about syphilis that was caused by the bacteria known as the Treponema pallidum with a spiral shaped bacteria, a false under spirochete that has the, this all treatment is penicillin G. We have talked about the stages of the syphilis, that's primary syphilis, secondary syphilis, and tertiary syphilis. In primary syphilis, there will be the just a painless ulcer that will be the, on the soft of the penis, that will be gone unnoticed most of the time. If you get noticed, we can excuse the fluid from here and do the f my, uh, dark field microscopy or fluorescence or PCR to demonstrate the organism. We can even do serological test that may be specific and non-specific. The non-specific test, the non-inflammatory, uh, not due to bacteria, R, VDRL and RPR, so that can be positive. If we find the in serological test, VDRL or RPR positive, then we go for the confirmatory test like TPHA, TPI, TPA or say FTABS. These all are the confirmatory test for the trypanoma pallidum. So these are we are talking about this primary syphilis. So, coming to the secondary syphilis, in secondary syphilis, you have understood the confirmatory. So, initially, just for confirmation, we need to diagnose the organism. The diagnosis of the organism can be done in the primary syphilis by excusing the fluid directly from the lesion, from the soft of the venous, from the painless ulcer. Then we can see that organism on dark field microscopy and you can, in dark field microscopy, you can see the organism is Thus is the spiral shape spirochete bacteria. They are not seen on the light microscope that you have to understand. Second thing was like how to diagnose, that was direct demonstration by dark field microscopy or fluorescence microscope or PCR. These are the direct and 100% confirmatory. If you ha don't have the uh, possibility or if, you d if the ulcer get unnoticed, so you are not able to diagnose the disease. So now you have to get the sample of your blood and in blood you can test this VDRL RPR or you can test you can test VDRL RPR or you can test with the specific test like TPHA, TPI or FTABS that you have to understand. So now let's move to the primary syphilis was localized presenting with the painless ankle use fluorescence or dark field microscopy to visualize the trepano in the fluid from the sanker that is VDRL in 80 percent. Secondary syphilis was disseminating all over the body and this was dis disseminated with the constitutional symptom. The so whole body is they develop maculopapular rash including palm and sole and I have told you to remember the formula of that CARS cars. So what was the formula? Formula was to remember CARS. CA for coxsackie A, R for rickettsia and S for the secondary syphilis where we will have the rashes on the palm and sole. In all other diseases, there will be rashes only in the trunk, not on the palm and sole, except these three diseases. So, secondary syphilis, secondary syphilis, there will be rashes all over the body, including palm and sole. And if you find the rashes on the palm and sole, your diagnosis narrow down to the three diseases, that is Coxsackie A, Rickettsia, and secondary syphilis. So, in this way, you can reach to the diagnosis. There will be the other lesion like condol, con, Condylomata lata. So, condylomata lata is nothing. This is a painless, warty, irregular lesion on your genitalia that can be found in the secondary syphilis. So, this was found over the smooth, painless, wart like lesion on the genitalia. There will be a lymphadenopathy. So, inguinal lymphland organ will be enlarged and that will be painless as well. There will be also in the soft of the penis or genitalia, but if it is painful, then it is not due to the syphilis, it is not to do the trepanopallidium, it is to the another bacteria known as the hemophilus du cry, that is the cry has a painful lesion, there will be the painful inguinal lymph adenopathy as well, in hemophilus du gris infection, in syphilis there will be all things painless, painless ulcer, painless lymph adenopathy and other features. So we are talking about condyloma and lata, then there will be a lymph adenopathy, there will be patchy hair less, also confirmal with that, we can also confirm here with the dark field microscopy. The best way to diagnose is do, do the serological test, take the blood, then you examine the ser serum and you find this VDRL RPR positive, then you go for the specific test and that is TPHO or FTA ABS. Secondary syphilis is systemics. You have to understand that a person can be positive with VDRL or RPR, but can be negative with this specific test. These are false positive result. PDRL, RPR can be positive, but if you go for the specific test like FTABS, TPSA, TPI, this came negative, then the patient doesn't have syphilis. 
if a person you test rp and vdrl this come negative but there is positive this specific test tpsc tpr ftabs then you have to understand you have treated the patient successfully so this specific test like tpsc will be positive lifelong but this non specific this, these are the inflammatory markers so when there is bacteria is active inside your body it will be positive means this if this is this positive this indicates there is an infection if it is negative so now you have to understand the patient has been improved okay now secondary syphilis can be lead to the latent syphilis latent syphilis is nothing if there will be a, no symptom at all patient will be uh, fine but there are the serological tests are positive then that is called late, that is called latent syphilis there has two type early latent and late latent depends on the temper time of exposure if it is within 12 years 12 month and then one year then we take take is as early latent early syphilis if it is more than one year or said more than 12 month we consider as late latent syphilis okay then we are come to the tertiary syphilis which is called gum there are the certain chronic granulomatously actions like gummas then is a outitis vaso vasorum destruction there is neurosyphilis damage of the anterior column of the spinal cord leads to the loss of this pain and proprioception so there will be a tevis dorsalis leads to this broad base ataxia rhombox and positive was due to the loss of your anterior column of the spinal cord there will be charcot strain and there will be stroke without the hypertension again for the there will be a, also argent robertson people which i have discussed that these are the people with constrict to the accommodation but does not react to light this is similar in comparison with the prostitute so called the prostitute people as well now we will move to this congenital syphilis before that let's go through the some of your images so what is syphilis syphilis are the sexually transmitted disease that can be cured with antibiotics many people won't notice any symptom for year as so it's important to get tested so there is need to be screening lot of people if you are traveling abroad to the endemic region or say for labor purpose we went uh, screen for this disease even all the pregnant women who are going to deliver the baby and they can transmit to the baby so they shouldn't be uh, screen tested asymptomatic people all symptomatic people should be tested if asymptomatic people can be tested in certain scenario like if they are transmitting to other or high risk people if they are a sexual worker say if they are a pregnant woman so they can transfer to the baby in this way asymptomatic patient also need to be tested so you can see this syphilis can be divided into primary secondary latent which will be early and late and there is a tertiary in a primary there is a three or four weeks after exposure when you get contact with the sexually of an infected person after 3 to 4 weeks you will develop painless sanker artery inoculation site we have already shown you the picture also you again in the secondary there will be a 4 to week 4 to 8 weeks after appearance of the primary sanker there will be rash condymola condymola lata systemic symptom common latent syphilis there will be no symptom at all but there will be serological positive tertiary syphilis 1 to 10 years after infection their beginning will be gumma gumatus lesion cardiovascular arteritis coronary arteritis cns this will be tevis dorsalis and Paris. So that there is generalized weakness. You can see this is primary syphilis where we have this painless ulcer on your genitalia. You can see the secondary syphilis where is there with the uh, rashes all over the body, including palm and sole. Okay, you can see over here there are rashes all over the body, palm and sole. So you see this rash will be only in three diseases that is Coxsackie A, Rickettsia, and secondary syphilis. I have seen you. There will there is we can see on the sole as well. there will be all over body including palm and so that you have to remember you can see this is the soft of the penis where you can excuse the uh, fluid and then you can test for dark microscopy fluorescence microscope or say you can say in the pcr these are the uh, rashes all over the body including palm and so that comes in the second syphilis primary syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease caused by bacterium trypanosoma pallidum primary syphilis present as a painless open sore 3 to 6 weeks after exposure although the lesion heals within see after 3 to 6 they develop and 6 to 8 weeks they disappear they goes away so the untreated organism will continue to multiply unchecked causing many complication you can see the primary syphilis there will be a sanker in secondary there will be rashes all over body systemic and tertiary there will be the damage to your heart primary syphilis sanker secondary syphilis there will be rashes mucosal patches eruption in tertiary syphilis they will damage your heart your nervous system central nervous system your lymphatic damage as well so secondary syphilis is systemic illness resulting from the hematogenous dissemination to the, of the trypanosomas the symptom of secondary syphilis usually appear after 4 to 10 weeks after appearance of the primary sanker so primary sanker may go unnoticed then you start after 4 to 10 weeks developing these sex symptoms of the secondary syphilis rashes all over your body 
and other symptoms and then you can you have to again test it yourself so there are the three stages of your uh, syphilis primary syphilis you have understood this is the hallmark sankar on your uh, it may appear 19 to 90 days after exposure common site is the penis and the labia that you have to understand then there is a secondary syphilis in secondary syphilis there will be a rash all over your body there will be oral lesion there will be um, your eye changes there will be oral color manifestation there will be less common internal organ that will also be there latent syphilis there will be no symptom at all but patient will develop the serological test in tertiary syphilis there will damage of your nervous system that is the and uh, this is um, say anterior column of spinal cord where there will be a tab, that will develop into tabis dorsalis tabis dorsalis damage the dorsal column and sensory nerve root causing a syndrome of pain and sensory deficit similar to the, those of the B, vitamin b12 deficiency there will be the gummas i have shown you the picture there will be damage of your uh, face and nose and there will be the cardiovascular changes like aortitis you have seen this this is very important you have this is clear about syphilis this is all you need to know there is the primary secondary latent latent can be early latent and late latent and th this all depend upon the time only if it is if you know the source of exposure within one year we say at early latent if you don't know any the when we have to get exposed or it is more than one year we case it we level as a late latent then there is a tertiary syphilis so tertiary syphilis refers to gumma cardiovascular syphilis psychiatric manifestation there is memory loss or personality says or say late syphilis so you can see the pathogenesis let me show you the gummas these are the gummas this is you can see this is the nasal septum is damaged whole face has been changes is there so these are the gummas first the organism comes primary syphilis develop develop you don't treat goes into the secondary syphilis if you don't treat they may it goes into the latent syphilis in latent syphilis the, there will no symptoms if you are not treating they will go to the tertiary syphilis there are lot of damages to their body the simple treatment of choice is penicillin you can give long acting like benzathione penicillin or simple penicillin and the patient can be cured we can come to this congenital syphilis let's go to the primary site of okay so congenital syphilis is a syphilis that get transferred from the mother to the baby it will only get transferred after first trimester so we have a chance we have a window to treat the patient if we can treat the patient in a first trimester the baby will be delivered safe so that you have to understand congenital syphilis will present as the facial abnormalities such as rashes you can see there will be the rashes okay linear scar at the mangle angle of mouth this is known as the rashes so there will be the facial abnormalities such as rashes okay you can see clearly this is the rashes there will be the, this is this uh, there will be the uh, this uh, snuffles that is a nasal discharge nasal discharge will also present this is not in the red in arrow there will be the saddle nose there will be no teeth you can see over here this is the nose teeth this is a hutchinson teeth we can see so there will be a nose teeth and mulberry molar short maxilla saver sign and cranial eight nerve deafness so the patient may develop this cranial eight nerve deafness deafness will present there will be lesion of this cranial eight nerve and deafness will be present this is simply easy to treat because we have the window we know the patient we can we usually screen the, all the pregnant women and congenital syphilis can be treated the to prevent treat patient in early pregnancy as placental transmission typically occurs after first trimester and treatment option is penicillin so let me show you some some of the picture you can see this is the features of your congenital syphilis you can have may develop hydrocephalus nasal discharge there will be hepatomegaly rash there will be petechial rash nocturnal necrotizing fasciitis there will be bone changes like otitis metaphysis peristeal this is the wimberger sign you can further see more pictures where you can see this hutchinson triad in the congenital syphilis there will be hutchinson teeth interstitial keratitis keratitis eye involvement and it's not de deafness so there you have a deafness you have eye changes you have the this teeth mouth changes as well there are other manifestations like saddle nose frontal bruising a clotons joint the penilin swelling of the joint so you can see many features of this congenital syphilis let me show you the some of the more picture of this congenital syphilis so the congenital syphilis there will be the vascular and bulla separation there will be hepatomegaly there will be the snuffles which is called the syphilitic rhinitis this is important as well there will be the hutchinson triad like sensory deafness interstitial keratitis and hutchinson's incisor like 